June 24, 1859, Henry Dunant witnessed the grisly spectacle of some 40,000 wounded soldiers left to die on the battlefield following the terrible battle of Solferino. Red Cross was thus founded to help wounded soldiers. Sir, if only you could write to my father to comfort my mother. On that day a new seed was sown and a new responsibility was gladly accepted. And thus begins our story. Fashion. Big cars. Radio. Despite the depression, many people live moderately satisfying lives. The times were simple for some, and also promising for others who lived in them. Who would ever imagine that in a short time, life would change so drastically? We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin, the Japanese... World War II caused the greatest economic devastation humankind has ever witnessed. United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The Hare family from China were among many that were separated in different countries, including America, Germany and Japan, all because of the war. The children of the Hare family studied abroad, for their father's dream was to one day save the country. During World War II, the Red Cross established a unique communication service that allowed loved ones and those abroad to stay in contact with each other. These were in the form of short letters that were restricted to 25 words each and had to be about family news only. All short letters were sent to the International Red Cross headquarters in Geneva to their respective destinations. Two 
在家里的时候呢，我就告诉他，我家里多，这里家里的事情都很好。These are really a great occasion for the people, and I'm sure that people who received those messages at the time, they value this more as they would value God or anything else. A very central element of, of the psychological well-being is to know where members of your family are, where your brother is, where your, where your parents are, uh, where um, members of your family are. And that is really a very, very central element to the psychological well-being.